Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have something absolutely amazing to take a look at today. We have a release that I have been greatly looking forward to. This is a release by Memory Museum. It's been a little while since we had one from them. And we have the Coelacanth, and this is quite possibly the nicest Coelacanth that I have ever seen. And I haven't even seen the actual model in hand yet. I can only see it here on the box art. And I saw the promotional images and I was just blown away by the beauty of it. And this looks to be, again, just easily one of the nicest coelacanth figures that I've ever seen. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner, it is in 1 15th scale, as that is the scale that the Memory Museum line usually sticks to. You can also see, again, that it is a limited edition. And you can see the Memory Museum logo down here in the bottom right-hand corner with, again, a beautiful image of the coelacanth here in the front so let's go ahead pop this box open and check this beautiful model out right now and here it is in all of its glory i just put it together and man is this thing ever absolutely beautiful like this might be the nicest uh memory museum release yet there's a very good chance that is the case because this thing is just as striking of a coelacanth as it gets that i Oh man, that eye just feels so alive to me. The base is beautiful. Again, continuing on with that really cool marble-like trend. We've got a very nice textured look for the base. Beautiful bluish tones of color for the bottom there, the earthy area as well. And uh, we also have a crab down there, which is just an absolutely awesome extra included in this set. And I really must say that, again, as far as like a coelacanth diorama goes... Man, this thing is just beautiful. It literally feels like they captured a moment of a living coelacanth out of time and just froze it and brought it right here for us to own and include in our collection. Such an incredible release on the part of Memory Museum. They've done a great job on all of their releases prior to this. I've always been a big fan of Memory Museum ever since their initial release, and I must say that they just get better and better with each and every release, and they have been focusing a lot on aquatic species lately, as I actually have another model here to take a look at as well from the Memory Museum line that I'm very excited about. But as of right now, we're going to focus on this fantastic coelacanth so let's go ahead jump straight to a closer look at it right now so starting up here at the head sculpt of our coelacanth you can see that it looks beautiful absolutely gorgeous looking as far as the detailing standpoint goes they have done a very good job on the overall detailing of our coelacanth you can see the nostrils there you can see the really nice tone of color and what i love about this is on top of giving it this beautiful kind of like a grayish blue tone of color. You can also see that there's a nice dark wash present on the model, which highlights every scale through the course of the model in such a really nice, very realistic way. And again, the eye, look at how realistic and lifelike that eye is. That is just phenomenal. It straight up looks like a living animal's eye. It is that perfectly and realistically glossed. You can see again, as far as the fine detail goes, I don't think you'll find a better coelacanth anywhere than what you see right here. And the paintwork looks great. You have, again, those kind of like light bluish gray kind of white splotches through the course of the figure. Again, like you see on the coelacanth, you can also see some streaks there running along the back of the gill there. You can also see, again, as we move down here, that front fin is incredible. And you can see like so much movement in the fin of the coelacanth as it's swimming along. The scale detail looks insanely awesome. Again, beautiful. Beautiful paintwork, really nice dark wash applied, but the actual movement there in the fin is so realistic and lifelike. And as you move down here, you can see the same for the fins here on the lower side of our coelacanth. It's just like so much incredible detailing that it just looks so full of life. It really does look like a living, breathing coelacanth right here before me. It is blowing my mind without question. As you lead up here to the top, again, look at how nice the detailing is. And on top of the detailing, the paintwork. Like when I said earlier, this might be the most impressive memory museum model yet. I really wasn't joking. This thing is just phenomenal. And again, you can see the really nice scale detail leading up to the 
fin here on the top of our coelacanth. You can see more of the really nice kind of splotchy paint as you move down the course of the figure. And then as you lead out here into the tail, you can just generally see the structure of the fish beautifully. Again, the scale detail is really vibrant through the course of the entire figure. And the fins might be some of the most impressive detailing and just how vibrant the detailing is that I've ever seen on any model of a fish prior. You can see every single area of the tail fin is just as insanely impressive as it gets. The mouth is sculpted in an open position slightly. You can see the teeth there on the inside of the mouth. Definitely would not want to take a bite from this coelacanth, that's for sure. You can see the inside of the mouth as well, although the mouth isn't open all that far, so you can't get in there too far to really see what's going on in there. And again, you can see the insanely lifelike eye yet again over here. Continuing to just add so much realism to the coelacanth overall. You can see it's just swimming along nice and naturally. It doesn't look like it's like heading in to take anything down or capture some prey. There's a slight curve to the body. You can actually see like the movement of the fish as it's swimming as it curves here then goes down and the right here at the tail fin you can start to see it curve back out. So you can really get a good idea of just how nice and casually the coelacanth is swimming along and you can again see all of the detailing within the fins and the entire body is just Man, to say breathtaking, that would be putting it mildly. This thing is a masterpiece, if you ask me, when it comes to a coelacanth model. And the paintwork, again, is probably some of the nicest I've seen from the Memory Museum line. And it's hard to probably pick up on camera exactly why I say that. I don't know how good it's showing up on camera. But here in hand, the very subtle application of the paint, like the slight transitions in colors... And there's just like so much depth to the paint job that you just can't really probably even pick up on camera how good and realistic it is. It is just absolutely beautiful. So undoubtedly the nicest coelacanth that I have in my collection. There is just not even a remote possibility of any other coelacanth being better than this. And then we also have the crab that goes here at the bottom of the location our coelacanth is swimming along in. and the crab as well is honestly as highly detailed I would say as the coelacanth itself and you can see as we move along it is beautiful as far as the sculpt goes and beautiful as far as the paint goes you've got the eyes painted very nicely there you even have some alternate tones of color here on the underside for the crab like they really go the extra mile to give you a fantastic product you've got some spots and stuff here on the top of the crab as the crab is just walking along on our bed there underneath our coelacanth as it swims by and you can see that it's not held on with like a peg or anything it just sits on the base so there's no specific way to apply it but that is fantastic and then we of course have the base itself and look at how beautiful the kind of rocky area here on the underneath the coelacanth is and just how beautiful the tones of color that they've used for it are i really love the bluish tone of color that they've given it and they've given it some variation of color as i could see blacks so a really nice dark wash seems to have been applied down here as well and they've also given it some really nice dry brushing techniques so it highlights each and every area as far as the you know, texturing down here goes every bump and rock and crevice and everything is perfectly brought out with the really nice dry brushing that they've applied. And once you move past the incredible base down to the underside, you can see again, we have that extremely high quality marble like look for the base. And then if we flip it around and take a look at the underside, you can see Memory Museum, Coelacanth Limited Edition 115th scale. And man, this thing is, again, pretty much putting me in awe as far as how nice this is. So I'm going to go ahead, put that back on the base, and we'll check it out from there. So again, to put your crab on the base, you just basically have to set him wherever you would like. I don't think there's any specific spot that he's designed for. It's just basically wherever you'd like to put him. Then to apply your coelacanth, you've, of course, got a rod here that goes into this hole on the underneath area of our coelacanth. Slide that in there nicely. And then you've got a hole here on the base that you slide the hole or the peg down into and your coelacanth sits there beautifully. As far as a size goes on our coelacanth model, for a length on the coelacanth itself, you're looking at about seven and a quarter inches or around the 18, closing in on 18 and a half centimeter range. And then for a height to the top of the tail fin here, which looks to be roughly around the highest point. You're looking at about six and three quarter inches or around the 17 centimeter mark. And then for a length on the base, you're looking at about the 
let's say about seven and a half inches or around 19 centimeter area for that. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon in comparison to our Coelacanth from Memory Museum. And you can really see that the Coelacanth does sport a very good size. It is a very striking size without it being overly large to where you can probably put this anywhere and it's going to look amazing. It's going to look impressive, but it's not going to be too big that it takes up too much room or too small that it's not noticeable. It really is like a perfect size for a coelacanth model. And then for a second comparison with another one of the nicest coelacanth models that I have ever seen, we have the Safari LTD coelacanth right here next to our Memory Museum version. And although the Safari LTD version is fantastic, in my opinion, it can not compete with this Memory Museum version. Two beautiful versions of this fish, but the Memory Museum version definitely wins this round. And then since I don't have very many Coelacanth figures, although they don't really make very many that I know of, I'm just going to bring in a few random figures to compare it with, just to help, again, further give you an idea of the size. You've got a Collect A Dimetrodon on the left, a Takara Tomy Stegosaurus there on the right, and then... We've also got a Mattel Dilophosaurus and a Kenner Juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex over here on the opposing side again. Hopefully some of these figures, at least one you might have, that could potentially give you a rough idea of the size of this fantastic coelacanth. So Memory Museum has always been one of my favorite companies producing figures, and it's just the fact that they create so much variety and their models are always insanely high quality and they always look like they belong together. Like I could without question see these models all being in museums somewhere, just highlighting each and every one of the creatures that they represent. And this coelacanth again is definitely at the top of my favorites when it comes to the Memory Museum line, which is really saying something because they've had some amazing models in the past, like their Bahatosaurus. That is probably one of the best models that I have in my collection period. So for this coelacanth to be, you know, right up there with the Bahatosaurus or their Carnotaurus or their Smilodon, like that's really saying something about how impressive this model is. And I definitely can say that this is, again, one of my favorite Memory Museum releases yet. The sculpt is fantastic. There's just like so much very subtle movement shown in the sculpt of the coelacanth that it really is super, super impressive to look at. And on top of the movement shown, the fine detail is insane. Like you can see a lot of really nice movement in the fins as the water kind of flows through the fins of the coelacanth and the very fine, fine detail, like the scale detail, it looks fantastic and it's been brought out in such a beautiful fashion with the incredible paintwork. The paintwork looks great, very nice and lifelike, very realistic, and the way that they've applied very subtle differences in colors, as well as the beautiful dark wash, tying everything together and making it just look incredibly realistic, just shows how beautiful of a product you get when it comes to a Memory Museum release. The eye is as lifelike as an eye can get. I don't know that I've ever seen a more lifelike eye on a model, so that as well is incredibly awesome. The entire scene that it portrays with the coelacanth just swimming along over top of a nice rocky area with a crab walking underneath is incredible as well. The base looks beautiful. The detailing, the sculpt, everything as far as that goes is fantastic. The paintwork as well is extremely nice and I love how it all kind of ties together with the darker tones of color with the really nice looking blues on the base and the beautiful darker tones of the fish. And then you just have that really cool little crab walking down there just for that added extra bit of awesomeness in the set. And then the very nice marble-like appearance to the underside. Everything about this, again, screams museum display and the fact that you have the ability to own it and add it to your collection is probably one of the most awesome things that I can say about this overall. Having a coelacanth that is this high quality and looks like it belongs in a museum in your own collection, now that, my friends, is one awesome addition to your collection. So if you are interested in picking this up, and I highly recommend that you do just that, I will include a link to where you can do that. So make sure you check the link in the description, head on over there and purchase yourself this fantastic coelacanth, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.